What are we? Think. A giant clock. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No, there's a... There's a slot for some kind of key for manual winding. We just gotta find that. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. Yo, know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. Alright. Kind of interesting that everything runs on a tight schedule and all that, but also kind of ridiculous. There's literally a giant clock that locks the doors. And why on earth? <laughs> Who does that? Nobody does that. So you work, and then you leisure, and then you pray, and then you train, and you sleep. Wait a minute, there's only like one hour of sleep a day? This guy is insane. You can't do that, by the way. Biologically, you can't do that. If you don't sleep enough, you will die. Your body does not survive on one hour a night of sleep. You can do it like maybe a few days in a row. If you do it too long, you will literally just die. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia, return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again mysteries. Okay. So according to that, but that's not true though, because they... I mean, she's saying there that, sh that they can return to Columbia, but they would become human again. Except they weren't. When we met them in the game, they weren't actually human. Like, they appeared and disappeared. And they appeared in the strangest places and they could still manipulate probabilities. That doesn't seem right to me. Because when we met them in the game, they could they could still do stuff. Like they they weren't just humans. We've got the clock key. Not just the clocks. So we're gonna have to go through each of the four doors. Prayer. Work. Work is gonna be the biggest one. Uh, use. Remarkable. Also, ridiculously elaborate. Alright, so prayer is here. What is this? Alcohol? <laughs> Someone's been drinking down here when they're meant to be praying. Ah, yes. Back with our founding fathers. There's a lot of alcohol in here. Wow. Alright, what's going on? Where's the uh, where's the loot? Not on either side. Smoking and drinking, stabbing, the word of the prophet. Evil prophet, untold prophet. <laughs> um Zachary, you old shyster, sure to impress the rubes. You give the sales pitch, I'll provide the snake oil. Yes, Zachary Comstock. Untold rewards await the faithful in eternity. You give the sales pitch, I'll provide the snake oil. Alright. So, so, um, Fink never really believed, obviously. But uh, he had a good deal going on with Comstock, but there's no loot down here, are you serious? There's really nothing down here for us to, to pick up? Well, that's a shame. Just alcohol and smokes. 
Alright, let's go back up then. Leisure? What's a leisure? What on earth does Fink do for leisure? Plasmids. Plasmids? Sea slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. <laughs> so, Fink actually sent what, submarines down to the seafloor to pick up those atom slugs to make the, the tonics? Or the, what are they called? The, uh... Alright, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't think it makes sense because even in Adam, I mean, in in in, in Rapture, to get the Adam, they needed the little sisters to recycle and everything. Ten. Look at this. Cost evaluation. Why injectables? Drinkable plasmids require ten times the Adam that injectables do. Injectables are on are the clear economic choice. Repackaging will result in significant Adam usage savings. Ten times required. So to make these vigors. They need 10 times more atom than the injectables. Notes. Lower cost, less atom use, tougher cell. Faster effect, uh, reuse glass, new adverts required. So the, so the injectables are much more efficient. But a harder cell because nobody wants to stick a needle in their arm. Kinetoscope seized from the graveyard shift bar. As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Yes, if there were no God, the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Yes, alright, well there's nothing much in here neither. Let's go to work. That's gonna be the big one. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair? <laughs> it's it's your hair, Elizabeth. Although we're gonna come through here and we're gonna learn a lot about Elizabeth and Songbird and all the rest of that. Slow elevators. What does the game want us to see? Listen, I got you your gun. I'm here for my ass. But my booker to win died for the Fox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My booker to win was a hero to the cause. A story to tell your children. You yes. Look, there goes Booker the Wiz and Elizabeth. Only one who ever. You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Um, you killed Booker, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you're the one who killed Booker at 
the river where he got baptized. So don't give me that nonsense, alright? You made your choice. Also, there's enemies up there. What to do? What to do? There's guys back there, guys up there. That guy is there. Oh, this is problematic. I can do this. And then do that. So do I sneak past everybody or do I actually try to kill some well not kill them? Try to knock some people out. I can just sneak past most of them. Come over here. A dollar bill. Oh wait, what's that? Oh I came no, I came from there. What is that? Door though. Um. What? Come, come on. Okay, there's a giant piece of cloth. There's a giant piece of cloth there. How could the turret see me? Um. What to do? What to do? Alright, so they stop being aggro after a short while. What is that guy doing? And how can I... get the drop on him? Like this? So the guy is there, there's a guy out there, but there's a turret right there. Maybe I should just, you know, possess the turret. Does this count as lethal if I possess the turret? <laughs> oh well, they're gonna die. Unless they kill the turret. If they kill the turret, I'm even happier because they get rid of the turret then. Did they do it? No, the turret won, never mind. They did not win, we just killed two guys. Indirectly. Where's that? Eve, I want that. Chocolate bar. Is anything useful in here? No? Oh, health kits? Nope, don't need that neither. Alright, well, three, two people died, one person got knocked out. Let's loot everything we can find. Um. Okay, so there's a door here. More guys on the other side. Oh look, what's this? Lockpick? Coffee and peanuts I don't need. There's ammo. Health kit and alright, that's it. Mosfo I don't need. So this place goes upstairs. The other side goes downstairs. And how should I do this? What's this guy? Enemy wearing helmet can't be knocked out by a melee sneak attack. Why? Why do you do that to me? Maybe I'll just use more possession. Because that seems to be a good way to deal with enemies. <sighs> oh, so this comes back here. Armored enemies are resistant to damage but remain vulnerable to tranquilizer and gas. Jesus bolts. is right in here. Say, somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. I don't 
really want to have to deal with those guys. There's a guy there. Can I really not really strike him? Right, where's he gonna go? He's gonna go there. Can I not really strike him? I can. Alright, that's good. So he was armored, but I can still melee strike him one hit. That's good. Money. And not much else. Alright, let's, let's go back here and have a look at this room. What is all of this? Amnesia, byline, forget everything you know, marketing note, how do you plan to sell this stud? <laughs> the amnesia plasma. Uh, dead ringer, reanimate dead loved ones and pets, marketing notes, no one wants a moldy puppy. Plant peeper, byline, read the inner thoughts of your house plants, marketing note, no demand for this type of product. Amazing, look at these plasmids. Amnesia, forget everything you know. Reanimate your dead loved ones and pets or listen to your plants. 